Now, what would you do if you need to solve an equation that has fractions? So what would you do to solve this one? So here's what we can do. Let's multiply both sides by 3. That will get rid of the 3 on the bottom. If we do that, these will cancel. And so what we're going to have on the left is 2x. On the right, 8 times 3 is 24. And now, all we need to do is divide both sides by 2. So 24 divided by 2 is 12. Now, another way in which you can solve this, if you wish to do it faster, you can also do it this way. You can multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this fraction. That is, by 3 over 2. And so notice that the 2's will cancel, and also uh, the 3's will cancel as well. And so you're going to have x on the left side. Now, what is 8 times 3 over 2? Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can multiply, then divide, or divide, then multiply. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Or, you could say 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Either way, you'll get the same answer. But when dealing with larger numbers, it's better to divide first and then to multiply. Let's try another example that's similar to this one. Let's say 5 over 8x plus 4 is equal to 14. Go ahead and try it. Now before we multiply by 8, let's get rid of the 4. Let's subtract both sides by 4. You can multiply by 8, but 8 times 14 is going to be a large number, so let's avoid doing that for now. These will cancel. And so 5 over 8x is equal to 10. Now, let's multiply both sides by 8. So we're going to have 5x is equal to 10 times 8. 10 times 8 is 80. And now, let's divide both sides by 5. 80 divided by 5 is 16. And so that's the value of x. Now, what if we have an equation that contains two fractions. In this case, it might be better to clear away all the fractions. And the best way to do that is to multiply both sides by the common denominator of the two fractions. You can use any common denominator. Ideally, you want to use the least common denominator, but all common denominators will work. If you're not sure what to multiply by, multiply 3 and 5 and just use 15. That technique will always work. So now let's distribute the 15 to everything on the inside. So what's 15 times 1 third? 1 third times 15 is the same as 15 divided by 3. And so that's 5. Now what about 15 times 2x? That's simply going to be 30x. Now 15 times 2 over 5 we could say 15 times 2 is 30, 30 divided by 5 is 6, or we could say 15 divided by 5 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6. Now let's subtract both sides by 5. So 30x is equal to 1. Now our last step is to divide by 30. So x is a fraction, it's 1 over 30. Here's the next example. x divided by 2 plus 5 is equal to 1 over 4. What is the value of x? So what should we do here? Well, just like the last example, let's clear away all fractions. We have a 2 and a 4. Now, we don't need to multiply and use 8. We could use 8. It'll still work. but we can use a small number, 4. 2 and 4 both go into 4. So let's multiply everything by 4. So what is x over 2 times 4? If you're not sure, simply multiply them. 4 times x is 4x. So right now we have 4x over 2. Next, 4 times 5 is 20. And 1 fourth times 4 
is basically 1. The 4s cancel. So this is what we now have. Now 4x divided by 2 is 2x. So 2x plus 20 is equal to 1. Now let's subtract both sides by 20. Therefore 2x is 1 minus 20. And so 1 minus 20 is negative 19. Now the last thing we need to do is divide both sides by 2. So x is equal to negative 19 divided by 2.